Synergy 2011, and we're here with Chandra Shekhar Tekwane, who is the uh, CEO uh, and founder. Be the CEO. Yeah, CEO and founder of Core Mobile Networks, Inc., um, who was actually a Citrix startup accelerator. Uh, we were having a discussion earlier on uh, Citrix's startup accelerator program, so very interesting program to seed capital new companies. But, um, Chandra, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Core Mobile Networks. You guys uh, mobilized the cloud, I understand. You got a little demo for us, but uh, give us the uh, elevator pitch. So what we do is we mobilize the cloud by real-time delivery of context-based content from the cloud to mobile devices. Our focus is on the smartphones uh, and on iPads, uh, be it an iPhone or an Android-based device. What we do is we take content from various systems in the cloud and find that relevant subset because there is so much content out there, you don't need it all the time. You, you only need that relevant subset. So we figure out what relevant subset you need and then push it to that mobile device. So you don't have to click it and wait. You don't have to open multiple applications. You don't have to look at the calendar, then open a Safari, go look at the website. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is put a meeting on your calendar or say where you are, what information do you need based on your location, and you specify it on our system and we'll push it to the device. And it gets pushed in what form? It gets pushed into the form as I can show you on my iPhone. Uh, I have this uh, app that shows you the details from Microsoft Outlook. Then it shows you what information it got from a Microsoft Dynamics CRM. You lost it. Too bad. Can you go back? You lost it. You lost Not it. on the screen. Oh. There it is. Hang on. So what you do is you have an app, you sign into the system, and uh, then it takes you through the process of determining what whether you are an authenticated user. And then you see this list of messages that you've got. So if I click on this message for Citrix Systems, it shows what was on my meeting on my calendar. And I'm looking at Outlook, I'm looking at uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, LinkedIn. What are those things that I'm looking so at? So what happens is you suppose have a meeting with Citrix Systems. It is on your Outlook. Then it goes to the Microsoft Dynamics and say, brings out of it what are the opportunities that are going on over there. What opportunities are you pursuing? What, uh, what is there in your CRM? What interactions you have had with, in your, with Citrix systems that are stored in the CRM? And it gets all of that. Then what it does is it looks at the Outlook and says, who are the attendees of that meeting? Pulls out their LinkedIn profiles and pushes it to your handset. So now, instead of opening these three applications, and looking for the exact subset of information in them, exact relevant information in them, all that relevant information is available on your handset right away. Can you see that, Michael? Can you see this? Can you, can you and tilt it lower? And how's that? Lower? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, yeah so, so basically, if I understand the, the, the use case here is I'm, I'm a sales professional, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a bunch of calls, I, I didn't have time to do the homework last night because my flight was delayed. I didn't have wireless because I was flying JetBlue, whatever it was. I didn't have time to prep. And so I'm, I'm multitasking, running like crazy. This application will push to me all the relevant information I need to know from the, the prospects that I'm going to meet, including their LinkedIn profile. So I have to open up multiple browsers, take notes. It's all right there. Yeah, you can look at it how the sales guys operate. They first op get a sales lead on, say, salesgenie.com or jigsaw.com. Then they go into salesforce.com to look at what other opportunities they have had, what other business they do with that company. Then they set up a meeting on their Outlook, and then they invite the potential customer. That potential customer forwards the invite to others in the organization. Then before the meeting, what uh, the sales guy does is goes to LinkedIn and looks at who are the attendees for that meeting. Now on a PC, it's fine. He can open those four windows. But how does he do that if he's on the road and on a smartphone or even on an iPad? How do you go on opening windows and do correlation between who is attending, what are their LinkedIn profiles, what business we have done? In this case, he just manually. signs up. Yeah, you do it manually. Here, the system, you just put the meeting on the calendar, and system does everything else for you. So, can I can I use this for? Can you get this to uh, my cable provider? So every time I have a cable problem, they or, or an internet problem, they know that I've called 15 times before, and they know because you know what I'm saying that. We have so many issues with customer service these days. 
This is agent doesn't have any information about me. They ask me the same questions over and over again. Could so let me give you another. Solve that problem. Uh, it could if you apply it that way. But right now it's applied for sales guys. It applies for trucking. So a trucker today goes to uh, getloaded.com or 123loadboard.com and says what new loads have become available and then sends and go, goes and picks it up. And how he goes picks it up is the guy who's sitting in the office has four windows open. Wherever the load shows up, he calls the trucker and says, this, this is where it has to be picked up. So the trucker has to get off the freeway, take the phone call, get the address, and then go there. This automates all of that. What it does is it appears on any of these websites. It goes, monitors those websites, looks at where the trucker is. It notes the exact location of the trucker based on the phone's location. And then it says it is on the path. It just pushes that to the trucker. The fleet manager authorizes it, and he has the address on his phone, and he clicks on it, and he gets directions to it. So, so it's all automated. So how does your system understand the various roles? I mean, you mentioned truckers, you mentioned salespeople, healthcare is another one, I presume. How do you, how do you understand the specific uh, role and use case? Do you have so to what customize we do is, that? Or? Yeah, you, what we do is we have built a generic engine. The engine is event-driven, context-based engine, and it does correlation of various sources. Now, the various sources that are specified is you go to a web browser, says what application you need. So you list the application information there. You can go to a web browser or do it on the phone. On the phone, you can go and say, this particular application, here is my login name and password. We go get the data, and then we ask him, what, on what basis do you want it pushed, calendar or location? And uh, if he says calendar or he says location or both, we just use that uh, to correlate information and then push it to the handset. Now, in this case, the same engine is applicable in healthcare. For example, today, if uh, you call a uh, call into a um, number, the attending nurse then pages the physician. The physician there has no information about the patient. The physician basically gets a page. In this case, what happens is when the physician gets the page, the system on its own goes, pulls out the patient information regarding what their vitals are, what medication they are on, what they are allergic to, and that information gets pushed to the device. And so along with the notification, the physician has information to make a very good judgment call on what to prescribe. Okay, um, so we're, we're running against the clock here, uh, but I wanted to ask you about uh, your funding. You're a Citrix Startup Accelerator. Yes. Is that your only funding? Or? Uh, yes, that is our only funding. We started in 2009, and we have been funding ourselves from consulting revenues so far. This is the seed investment we have taken uh, from Citrix. Citrix also uh, hopefully will give us a good access to the customer base because a lot of people use Citrix are and its advantage. Are you using Citrix technology in this? Or? Uh, yes, we integrate into Citrix NetScaler um, acceleration devices. The way that happens is like we have a public cloud and private cloud. In public cloud, this service works. But in a private cloud, like in a regulated environment, we don't have to send any information outside the network in any unencrypted form. And the way that is done is from a NetScaler device, you can point to our service. So it's a web rewrite. You go to the service. All the data is taken from inside the network in a secure manner and pushed to the device. All right. Chandra Chakwani, thank you very much for coming on the Cube Core Mobile Networks. Check them out. Good luck with the uh, with the launch in uh, August, you right? You can download this in August. Is that right? Or uh, it's, in it uh, it's in trial right now at an enterprise customer that goes live in August. Uh, okay. The service is available today. The application is available on the App Store. You can go download it. And what's the app called? Core it's Mobile? It's called Sales Crystal. Sales Crystal. So check it out on the App Store. Chandra, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank